Hello, Brother Earl. This is your old brother down here in Baton Rouge again. And I'm going <clears> to <throat> show you some chords today. I'm going to show you the basic chords and how they fit together. And um, see if you can enjoy some of these chords that old brother's going to make for you. I'm going to start off with the first letter of the alphabet, which is first off, let me tell you the names of these strings. The bottom one is E. The little bitty one on the bottom is the E, and the big one on the top is the E. Okay, the one right under the big one on the top is A. You can see it actually quiver when I do it. See it quiver? The one underneath that is D. See it move? The one under that is G. See it move? One under that is B, like box. You see it quiver or vibrate. Okay? We're going to start off with the first letter of the alphabet, which is A. Now, this is an A chord. You got your uh, ring finger right here on the second string, the second fret. The one next to it, your middle finger, you put on the second fret and the third string and then the first finger you put on the second fret and the fourth string and, the, and this particular chord you can play all six call all six strings and it'll still sound good hear it okay now you could make it like this and put your little finger down here like that and your whole uh, first finger on four strings here and put your little finger way down here and make the A chord and you can also put your little uh, finger right here beside your little bar on the fret number two and have an A it's called a A7 but it's a dominant seven okay and the next chord would be B and all you got to do, if you can remember this, is to take a chord that you have. And if you raise it up a certain number of frets, you can have the next letter of the alphabet. See, this is an A. If you only hit those notes, you raise it up two frets and you got a B. Okay? Now watch this. If you use these three fingers and made your A, and just left this one right here open. I mean, when I say, I'm trying to get my finger up here. This finger right here, where you can use it and make your A like this. You can raise it up two frets. And put, what you're doing is you're replacing this white thing right here. This is called a nut. And you're replacing that nut with your finger. And so you can take the A, raise it up two frets. And have a B if you put your bar there. And you can play that a whole six strings like this. Then a C here like this. Raising it up another fret. See it? And all the way down. Then two frets you have a D. See there? And you can do that with any chord on the guitar. Okay, so there's an A. Then there's a B. A C. A D. Okay, and all I'm doing is taking this one one fret right here, this one chord right here, and I'm raising it up two frets. You can, if you wanted to do it like that, and go. See how much A B C right there, and they could do the A B C D E F G, and you go all the way down and make all the chords that are major chords with that one chord right there. Now remember this principle works on every chord. So there's your A chord. Now typically when people are making a B, they can do like this and raise it up two frets and they'll have a chord called a B7. They can also do it down here like this and put their little finger and have a B chord just like they did with the A right here. See where I got my fingers right there? I got my first finger right there on the second fret and my little finger down here. I make the A chord. I can either do it there. See, I've only got those two fingers there. Or I can do it here, like I showed you first. Then the B, I can either do it like this, by raising it two frets, 
A, B, or I can take like this A7, I can raise it two frets, and I can put my, I'm going to replace this nut right here with my finger, this white thing, if I can get the, get the thing in the right spot, I can replace that with my finger. So if I bring it down here like that and make this chord like so, I'll have a B7, see it? And one more would have a C7. Then raise it two more, I'd have a D7. And all it's doing is going up in the letter of the alphabet, then two more would be an E7. See, I'm doing the same thing. I'm taking this and just holding this note down. That's all I need. I got these smashed down here and the little finger there to make the seven. So I can have a E chord, raise it another one, have an F, and two more and have a G. If you listen, here's a G7, way down here. Same thing as this, way down here. So I made all the A's and all the B's and all the C's on down and all the sevens. And here's typically the way people make a B7. And this is pretty common. It's like this. That's your B7. Then, of course, you know how to do the C. And to make the C7, all you got to do is put your little finger down on the third string on the third fret. That's a C7. Then here's a D. All you got to do to make a D7 is take this note right here and drop that note two frets and leave these other two notes where they were. It was like this. You take this note and drop it down two frets. And there's your D7. But there's a D. There's a D7. Okay. And I can take the same thing here. I can take the D7. And I can raise it up two frets. And I can replace that white thing right here, which is a nut, with my finger. And I can have an E7 like this. Watch. Listen. There's a D7, E7. Now, and I can also take the D here, raise it two frets, and put my little bar. A little difficult to make, but I can make a D like that. On this now, it's an E. And all I'm doing is just replacing that white thing with my first finger here. All right, all these chords work the same. That's D, D7. Now here's E. I think you know how to make E too. So E, if you want to make an E7, you can do it one or two ways. You can do it multiple ways. I'm showing the simplest ways. You can either lift this finger up off of the fret, just right there to make the E chord. Just lift that finger up. And there's E7. Or you can put it back down. And put your little finger over here on the second string, the third fret, have that E7. Or you can do both. You can lift that up, get it out of the way, and put your little finger right there. Still have an E7. Okay, and then you do the F, like so. And all an F is is an E raised up a fret, and you're replacing this white thing right here with your finger. So here's an F. See, all I did was I put this down instead of that white thing right there. That's all it is. E, F. Okay? Then a G, you can either raise this whole F up two frets, which is a, the next letter in the alphabet after F is G. You can raise it up to here and have your G here or there. See, and all you're doing is you're taking the E, F, G. Remember, you can take all any chord and just keep raising it you'll then you go to a then b then c then d and you go back to e okay all of them work the same way okay that was e and the f of course and then the g is here i wouldn't want you to necessarily try this but you can do it like this you can take this this finger right here and just get it out of the way and you instead of using these three fingers use these three fingers and then you can replace this white thing, which is the nut, with your first finger. You can raise this up two frets, and you can have a full six string A chord. Listen to this. This is it. And then you raise it two more and have a B, 
one more and have a C. So this is this C. And this is this C. Same chord. Then a D. Then this D. See, it's the same chord. And all I'm doing is taking this regular G chord, raising it up to A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so we got up, started with A and wound up with G. And between an A and a B, there's a, a, a note called a B flat or an A sharp. Okay, it's the same chord. And all you got to do to that is take an A and raise it one fret, you got a B flat. So you don't need to worry about all them right now. Now, I'm going to show you real quickly how that you take an A and make an A minor out of it. Now watch this. This is this note right here. You don't understand this right now, but this is called the major third. It's do re mi. Hear it? All you got to do is take that on any major chord and drop it one fret and leave the other two notes where they are, and you got an A minor. Okay. Now if you take this. A minor and change your fingers around from that. Remember an A major was here or here and you drop this note one fret make A minor you play Josh Default the Bell of Jericho. See how it works? Now that A minor you can change your fingers around like that and raise the two frets and replace that white nut back there. And now you got a B minor, then a C minor, then a D minor, then an E minor, then an F minor, then a G minor. And you go back to an A minor. See? All of them work the same way. Now, we do, we just did the B minor. Now, the C minor is right here. You just raise the A minor, or you can take the C minor. First, you take the major <clears throat> you take the major and you take this note right here do re mi here do re mi do re mi and you drop that a fret leave the other two where they're at and you got a C minor then you can do the D minor the same way but this is the easiest way to make a D minor here. You take a D major, and the note here is Do, Re, Mi, Da, 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 Da. And you take that note there, it says Da, it's a major third. Drop it one fret, make it a minor third. Leave the other two notes that were in the D chord the same spot, and you got a D minor. Hear it? And you can do the same thing with that D minor, E minor, F minor, G minor. A minor, here, A minor, A minor, here's the same notes, there's a G minor, okay, then we get uh, an E minor, now this is the easiest way to make an E, now if we want to make the minor, we got to find Do, Re, Mi, that note right there, and we drop it one fret, which means you open it up, so we take the E chord, and we take this first finger right here and just oh, just lift it off, and we play collagen. Here, collagen. All you got is an E chord. You lift that finger off. Switch your fingers around. Here we go again. There's the E minor. Raise it up one fret, put your bar, you got an F minor. Try to get that finger out of the way without cramping my fingers. F minor, G minor, A minor, you let see how it's working? A minor, B minor, C minor. Okay, same thing as this. Same thing as it. Okay, that's, that's E minor, then there's F minor, and then there's G minor, and back to A minor. So you've learned basically the the major chords, the seventh chords, and the minor chords. And I've got all these recorded for you so you can see my left hand. Now, the chords that usually go together are one, four, and five of the major scale. Okay, we'll start at A. The three chords that go with A so you won't have to worry about sharps and flats and all that. 
is A, D, E, A. A, D, E, A. See how it goes? Okay, there's A, D, and E. Okay, we go to B, which you won't probably deal with too much, but there's B, E, and uh, F sharp. Back to B. Then C, the three chords for that, the one, four, five, C, C is one, D is two, E is three, F is four. So there's C and F is one and four, and the next one is five, which is G. So C, F, G, C. That's the three main chords that go together. All right, and then we're going to go to D. The three main chords of D is D. The fourth of D is D, E, F, G, which is G. The fifth is A. So what it sounds D, G, A, D. Okay, then the three that go with E is E, A, B, E. Can you hear me right also? See, it's just a simple. That's three chords. E, A, B. That's actually B7. Okay, that's E. The three chords with F is F, B flat, which is this chord here, which is just an A, raised up to a B flat, then C. You make it there or here. So F, B flat, C. Okay, then the three that go with G is G, C, D. three chords. I love you, brother. I hope this has helped you. And if you get any more information, just let me know. God bless you.